All right, this is a two-part question involving this coordinate plane here. So the first one says, find the slope of the line that passes through the two points indicated on the graph. All right, so we have the two points and their coordinates here. Uh, first of all, this graph, as you can see, it's a little bit strange. It's not centered. So it might throw you off at first, but the x-axis is down here, not in the, the middle, and the y-axis is over here not in the middle either. All right, so anyway, we want to find the slope of the line, the slope of this line. Now, in another video, I talked about how to calculate the slope by using the these coordinate locations here. There's a formula that's that will be on the formula sheet they give you during the test where you could use these numbers and plug them into the formula and calculate it but the formula is a little bit hard to memorize and you might be wasting your time by doing it that way in certain situations. For example, this one where it's already graphed out here for you. You can just look at this graph and count the formula, find the formula by counting. And the way you do that is all you need to do is remember that formula, uh, sorry, that slope is rise over run. So we're trying to find the slope. So you just remember slope is always rise over run. And rise, of course, is up or down. And run here refers to how far it goes left or right. That's the run of a line. So rise over run. So here in the first one, 2 over 3. 2 is the rise, how high it goes. and three is the run. So you just remember that and all you need to do is count how far going up and down from this point to this point. So all you do is just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we stop here because now we're lined up with this point. So it goes six spaces up. So that's our rise. Now we need to find the run. So it's easy just to count sometimes and fastest. One, two, three, four. Six over four. Okay, that's our answer, but you see it's not available here. And of course, that's because we need to reduce it, which we can do quickly by seeing that six and four are both divisible by two. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 2, sorry, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 3 over 2 is the slope of this line, and that's the choice, so that's our answer right there. All right, the second part, plot the point that represents the midpoint between A and B. Mark your answer on the coordinate plane grid on your answer sheet. Okay, again here, there might be a way to calculate it, but I think it's fastest just to count again. You can count, you remember when we counted up, it was three points up. So we go three points up, one, two, three, and we stop here, right? That's halfway up. And when we counted over, when we did the run, it was four over. So we just count over two, one, two, and that's the midpoint. Right, we went halfway up and halfway over. And it if you just look at it, it makes sense. This does look like the midpoint of this line segment. So now we need to find out where we are on the graph so that when we mark it on the answer sheet, we have it in the right spot here. Because remember, this might throw some people off how it's not centered. So we have to be careful a little bit here. So we see where we are here just by counting again, right? One, two, three, four. So we're at four on the x-axis. So we find four here, but we don't mark anything yet. We have to find out where we are on the y-axis. It's up from this line, right? You, you count up from the x-axis line. One, two, three. And we see that lines up with here. So it's 4 over and 3 up. So 
we go one, two, three, four over, and one, two, three up, so that we're lined up with the four on the x-axis and the three on the y-axis.